Hey there, homeowners! Hope you're having another inspiring day. Once again, this is MF Home TV with Phoebe. But before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell for you to stay updated. Also, wait until the end of this video to know this week's prize. And check the link on our description box for the details on how you can join our giveaway. When you have a small space, the problem usually is storage you cannot buy too many furniture for storage just like a buffet cabinet or a chest of drawers because literally there's no space anymore that's why for today's video we will be showing you eight small to medium items that you can use to maximize your space problem number one there's no counter space in your sink it's just a mirror above and a sink below and sometimes there's a toothbrush holder but it's too small for other stuff Solution? Install a floating shelf above the sink. We usually just use this in the living room or in the bedroom for decor, but it is also functional even in the bathroom. Problem number two. Nightstand designs don't have much storage. Often, it works more like a side table where you can place items on top. But with a small space, you really have to pick furniture that are multifunctional. It's better if your nightstand has an additional storage compartment. Solution, use a trolley. Problem number three. Even with a trolley as a nightstand, there are still items in your bedroom that need organization. Solution? Utilize the space beneath your bed. Add storage drawers and cabinets that are low in height and can fit under. This works if your bed has slim legs and are hollow underneath. Usually, these are bed frames that have metal frames. You can place curtains, bed sheets, towels, and even underwear. Problem number four. Your clothes don't have enough closet space. Solution? Add another layer on your hanging clothing with a tension shower curtain rod under and use slim cloth hangers. Tension rods are great because they are easily adjustable in length and can fit nice and tight in between. With another layer to hang your clothes, you have additional storage. Problem number five, cluttered jewelry. Solution, add wall hooks behind your cabinet doors. It's a perfect hiding place and at the same time, the most budget-friendly jewelry organizer. Your bracelets and necklaces won't get tangled anymore. It's also pretty easy to take one out and put one in. Problem number six, there's too much kitchen items on the counter space. Mm -hmm. 
Solution? Use your kitchen walls and hang a shelf with hooks. You can place pots, pans, mugs, and ladles on the hooks for easy access. Condiments and spices can go to the other layers. Now you've cleared up your counter space to prepare food. Problem number seven. This one's for the bookworms. Where are you placing all those books you've read? Solution? You can actually use a wheeled rack that's usually used in the kitchen or garage to store your books and magazines. Now you have a moving library and it doesn't take much space physically and visually since its frames are thin. Problem number eight, you've maximized the space beneath your bed and your closet space, but you're still lacking storage. Solution? Look at your walls. Walls hold so much potential for storage, yet they are often just used for decor. You can hang floating shelves and drawers without taking floor space. There you have it! Hope this video helps you and is detailed enough for you to be able to maximize your space and make the most out of your budget. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for you to stay updated. Also, to join our Facebook giveaway, we will be posting our mechanics on the Facebook page and the link on the description box below. Once again, this is Phoebe, inspiring your home. Comment of the Week Congratulations to last week's winner! This week's prize!